Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net and this is MLB 17 the show St. Louis Cardinals franchise this is episode 14 as we're getting ready for the uh, series here in LA against the Los Angeles Dodgers. So the Dodgers are going to be in action here today as they'll be hosting us the first game of course between Mike Leake and Rich Hill here in game one of this three game series between these two ball clubs. So it should be a very interesting game as of course right now we're still playing real red hot right now. Uh, out of the last 10 games we are 6 and 4. Cardinals 36 and 7 now in the National League Central and they have a commanding lead. They have a, what a 11 or 10 and a half game lead over the Cubbies. Dodgers right now just a game behind the Rockies as they have a two-game winning streak for themselves. They're also 6-4 of four in the last 10 games. So, Tommy Pham, uh, I think I mentioned in the uh, episode there, the uh, Cardinals Insider spotlight of him. He will be making his uh, MLB appearance here this season for the first time um, this season uh, with us. He'll be playing out in left field. He'll be with us for two weeks uh, with, his ball, with the Major League Ball Club. Uh, we'll, and of course, we'll evaluate him at the time to see where exactly, where, uh, where if we're going to keep him on the major league roster or if we're going to send him back down to Memphis. Uh, now, as for um, Ryan Chizik, he will, or Randall Chizik, I should say, not Ryan. Uh, Chizik will, be, of course, be on the ball club still with us. We'll see uh, here in the two weeks how we'll, evaluate, we'll both evaluate both of them, see who's going to be the everyday starter and who's going to be a backup. Um, Chizik will also kind of be playing out to right field because I th um, we need some give some time off for Piscotti, uh, who's been requesting some times off uh, some time off here. So Mike Leake, there you see seven or eight starts he's been in so far. He is seven and zero. Oh. He has a buck forty two ERA right now. He has been pitching really good here uh, in this, uh, this so far this season. So go to the third inning here, and we'll see here with two outs. The Cardinals up to bat here, and they. Put the ball in to play here as they go ahead. Have the runner from second. That will be Diaz scoring from first, and he will tag there and the be will be safe there. So uh, Johnny Petroa, there you see, he'll hit a double out to right field, and the Cardinals will of course score here first, one and nothing. Nice job there, getting on board and getting the first run on the ball game. So his 14th double of the season here. He is looking. Nice. Uh, he's been our go-to guy here. Been pretty clutch here in the last couple of games. Now we'll see Yanni Molina here. We'll see what he can do with a runner on second with a 3-0 count. And he will get walked there on that one. So nice job there of reading the pitch there very well. And, of course, he'll uh, draw on the walk for him. So uh, still now Tommy will be up to bat here. He's one for one already here in the ball game. He had a single back early in the first inning. We'll see what he can do here in this situation with the runners on at first and second here with an 0-2 count with two outs. And Tommy, no, he swings and misses on that one. Just cannot get on top of that at all. So now we'll go to the bottom of the third here. We'll see what Justin Turner can now do here today as we'll see him in action here with a 2-2 count with a runner, of course, on first. And this is going to be a pop-up, and that one is going to be tracked down by Carpenter. And Carpenter will find this one. And that will be an out. So that is it for the inning as the Redbirds still lead it one nothing here after three innings of work. Now, go to the fifth inning here now. We'll see what we can do here at the top of the fifth as Petroia come up the bat here once again. And nobody on board here with bases. Or, or Yeah, bases are empty, but a full count here for him. And Petroia go ahead and hits this one up there. That one is going to be gone. That is going to be a solo shot there for him, his ninth of the season. And the Redbirds now leading out 2 0. Hill getting kind of beside himself here as he just cannot believe what's going on here in this low scoring event here. Already now has now given up two uh, runs here now, all, uh, all coming from Betroya as he has been uh, just on fire here. Lately. Like I said, his ninth of the year here. Hits this one up there. That one goes high and deep out to uh, right center field. And that ball is going to be a home run. Nice job. Now as we see Puig here 0 for 2 as we go to the bottom of the 6 here. And Puig going to come up to bat here. See if he can get a rally going here for the boys in blue. 
as he has an 0-1 count, and this is going to be a hit. This is going to be a chopper, a little uh, soft chopper there in front of the plate. That is just going to be enough for him to get the out or be safe there. But they say, hold up, wait a minute, and uh, we'll see Mike Matheny will come out here, and he says he wants to argue about this and challenge this. And we'll take a look here at the replay and see if there's a case here. And, uh, uh, that angle right there kind of doesn't really help us in this situation here. Kind of looks like the ball and the runner got there at the same time, but the Cardinals say, you know what, no, we're going to go ahead and challenge this. So they're going to have to go to get on the phone there and call New York. And so they can take a look at this and get some couple different angles uh, for the Cardinals and to see if they get the call right here. Now, we'll take a look here very closely. Yeah, that looks pretty close there from that angle. Now, hopefully we'll get to see another angle. And No, well, they don't, but we'll see here that the call will now be told, we'll be told it'll be overturned and it will be an out. So Puig will be out at first, and the Redbirds make a good call there. So nice job there from Matheny and his coaching staff there making that call. So now Justin Turner will come out to bat. He's one for two. In this ball game, he singled back in the first inning, and we'll see what he can do this time around. So we win the challenge here. Nobody on board here with one out, and that one is going to get past the infield there as Turner gets on the on the field with a line single there for him, and that gets the uh, Dodger on board here. So now Corey Seager coming out to bat, one for two for him. We'll see what we can do here to Seager as there's 0-2 count. One out. That's going to be a strikeout there on Seager. He just does not like the call, and he's going to be taken back to the dugout there on that one. So now Franklin Gutierrez over 2. Ground out twice. We'll see what he can do here as he hits this one. That one gets squeaks by the infield there. Runners will go ahead and advance. Uh, we'll see now Turner at second with Gutierrez at first. So now Gutierrez there on first base with a single. We'll see the next batter here will be Adrian Gonzalez. Gonzalez is going to hit this one high and deep. That's going to be getting right to the glove of Flower as that is going to end the inning. So after six now, it's still a 2-0 ball game. At St. Louis lead this one. Now seventh inning here, we'll see Trezor roll with all here in the bottom half of the inning. Come in to pitch, and we'll see what he can do here today as they will go ahead and and get some relief work in here for the Redbirds. So the Redbirds looking to try to close this one down here quickly. He's got Jock Peterson now. He's going to come out and get a few swings here. We'll see a one-two count, and he'll swing and a miss there. That is going to be a strikeout there. Nice job on getting Peterson out on the play. So now Forsyth will now come out to bat here. He has a 2 count. One out, nobody on board. He's going to take a look at this one, and, yeah, that's all he can do is look at this one. He argues a the call there. He says it was not; it was uh, too far up and inside there to be a strike, but the referee says otherwise. So now we'll see the next batter here, Grandall. He'll come up to bat here, and he'll go ahead and ground this one to second base, and this is going to be a nice routine play there to first, and that is going to end the inning. So after seven innings of work here, Redbirds still lead this one two to nothing here. As they have now have seven hits to the five hits now, the Dodgers have now put up. Now, go to the bottom of the eighth here. We'll see two outs here. And Justin Turner hits this one high and deep. This one goes over the wall there. Out there, that ball is gone. And the Dodgers are on the board with that solo shot there from Turner. It's a two-to-one ball game here. And now the Redbirds are kind of now kind of stressing here because... They thought they had this game won. They kind of skated by here in the last couple of innings. But now with that home run here, now they got to get back thinking that they may have to put some more runs on the board here. As Turner hits this one deep there to left field. Take a look at this one. 390 or 93 feet deep there. That one swings. That's just a beautiful swing there. So they have now a little powwow here out at the mound here. With Rosenthal, see if he, what his head is looking like right now after getting up that solo shot here in the inning. So we'll, uh, they'll sit there and think about what they need to do to strategize. As now we'll see here, we'll see say or we'll see the next bat here. We'll see this one high and deep, and that one bounces off the wall out there. This one gets thrown in, and that's going to be a double now here for Sager. So Sager now on the uh, second base, and they decide to give up the ball. 
uh, give Rosen, have Rosenthal give up the ball and give it to Seegers here. Seegers now going to be in now 15 games now here for the season. Of course, 1-0 for the uh, for his record. As we'll take a look here, Seeger can try to get Gutierrez out, and he's going to have Gutierrez ground this one to f- second base, or the second baseman there, and that's going to be an out. So ninth inning now, Ho will come out here. He has now has 16 saves now for the season, as he's under a buck now in his ERA, and he's got a good chance here to close the door here and to wrap this first game here between the Dodgers and the Redbirds as we'll go ahead and take a look here at the pitch against Adrian Gonzalez and that's going to be 0-2 right there that's going to be a strikeout and Gonzalez will have to go back to the dugout so you see your saves leaders there 16 saves now he leads the National League now in saves going to today's ball game now we'll see here uh, Peterson now comes up he will go ahead and he'll single out to, uh, to center field there Fire gets the ball, throws that one in there, and now we have a runner on board. So with now with runner one, runner on board, five, four sides coming up the bat here. He hits this one to short there. That's going to be a nice catch there, and that will be an easy out as they try to double up the runner there at first, but no cigar on that play. So now Grandall will come up to bat here. As you see the shortstop Messi there in his uniform, definitely showing he's got some work in today. 02, or excuse me, 03 now for Grandall. As he has a 1-1 count here. And he's going to pop this one out to left center field there. That one drops down. The runner will go ahead and come around to home plate here. This run will score. And this will tie up the ball game as the Dodgers get the ball game tied up 2 all. And Ho will now have a broken or have a uh, botched save there. As he blows his save there on that attempt here. And now all he can do now is... Is try to get this game back uh, into, or try to get this game to extra innings. So Austin Barnes will come out now to pitch run for uh, f- for Grenal. As we'll see, Vince Slight now here at the bat here, 0-1 count, and he'll pop this one up here. Easy play for Piscotti to track down and catch, and that will be it for the inning. So after nine, the ball game is tied up now, two all here. Redbirds got to come back here in extra frames here to do something in this ball game. Now, go to the 11th inning here. Redbirds come up short in the 10th, but here in the 11th here, we'll see what they can do here. A 2-2 or a 2-2 ball game, two outs, and we'll see Tommy trying to get this one up the middle there, but not such the luck there as he grounds out there to the short, and that will be it for the Redbirds top of the 11th. So now we'll go to the bottom half of the 11th here. For the Dodgers, as we'll see what they can do. Adrian Gonzalez 0 for 4, and has a strikeout back in the 9. Now, this is not the person we want to throw to first at bat here in extra frames, but he hits this one high and deep out to left field. Easy catch there, and that will be the first out here in the 11th inning. So, uh, Tommy Pham there getting that ball there that time around. Now we'll see Jock Peterson 1 for 4. He's single back in the ninth inning here with a full count. With one out, nobody on board here. Try to strike him out, but no, they end up. He ends up drawing a walk there, and Ho just cannot believe that pitch got away from him that time around. And now he is thinking to himself, "What has he done here?" So we'll see what he'll do. But we decide to go ahead and give him the hook, and we're going to bring in Zach Dukes, our long reliever here. Get him trying to see if this has to go to extra any more extra innings here. We'll give him the chance here to do some work. So now 2-2 count here. Dukes throws the ball here, and this one gets dropped down there out to center field there. Flower going to try to track this one down, try to throw this one off to the uh, halfway cutoff man there, and the runners now will advance to second and third. So now runners to second and third. Any hit here coming in past the infield will be a bay, will be a run, and the ball game will be over with. But you see a bunt swing there. They try to throw them out, out of the plate there, and not such a luck. As Barnes gets the base hit they need and gets the runner in there, and that is going to be your ball game. The Dodgers win this one in a very exciting one, three to two. There, man, tough game here for them as the Dodgers or as the Cardinals come up short here today. And of course, just thinking back here, you know, if Ho didn't give up, uh, really that uh, walk there, we wouldn't be in this situation. Not to mention. If we just didn't give up that home run shot there to that guy right there, Justin Turner, your player of the game, 
who hit that solo shot there that really got things going and pretty much gave back the momentum back to the Dodgers in late in this ball game here. So Dodgers win this one. Final score three to two. Dodgers twelve hits in the ball game, no errors. As for St. Louis, two hit, two runs, seven hits, and no errors. So your player of the game there, uh, Justin Turner, there for the uh, Dodgers. Petrola, uh, uh, Perolta, I should say not Petrola, Perolta. He was two for five with a home run, two RBIs and a run. Molina one for four, a du- or excuse me, a walk. Uh, Diaz one for five and a run. As for Turner, four for five for the Dodgers, or a, run, a home run, a RBI. And a run there for him. Grinnell, one for four. And he had a double and an RBI also. So, nice day there for the Dodgers. For them. Um, And, of course, uh, Hill and Leak both do not get a victory at all. They get a no decision in today's ballgame. So, now we go to the second game of this uh, this episode here. As we go to game two. And now being told... By some of the uh, pitching staff here today, they said they were going to try their best to avoid Turner. So if they got an opportunity to walk Turner, they're going to take that opportunity and just keep him on the, uh, if, if anything, put him on the base pass and see what he can do with his legs. See if he's going to steal or anything or if they can try to move him over with a bun or something. So first inning here, here we go. Up the bat is going to be Diaz, and Diaz looking for a pitch here. 1 0 count here, and Diaz smacks this one out to deep center or left center field there. That one drops down. No one can get a hold of it, and that's going to be your ground rule double there. So now Randall Chizik will come up to bat here. Like I said, he's going to come in time to time. I believe today he's coming in for, uh, I believe, Piscotti as we give Piscotti a day off here. Uh, but we'll see now here the pitch here is a 1 2 count with a runner on second. Nobody out, and there you see that one hits up the middle there. Runner from second will go ahead and come around to score, and the Redbirds are on the board once again here early, one to nothing. Nice job there from the Redbirds. Now go to the bottom half of the first, as we'll see Michael Walker on the hill today. He has been in eight games so far, his 7-0 record now on the line, as he has a underneath a, a one ERA. It's at .68 for the season. And we'll see what he can do here against these Re- or against these uh, Dodgers here today. So Justin Turner, there you see his splits there. Hitting pretty well against the righties there as he has eight home runs and 60 RBIs for the season so far. And Michael Walker knows that. So he decides, you know what, today is not going to be a good day here. We're going to go ahead and take the ball out of your – or take the bat out of your hands. And we're going to go ahead and put you on base. So the, so far what they've said, what they're going to do to the Dodgers lineup here, especially with Turner – has come true. So we'll see here as Seeger will be at the bat here. He has a 1-2 count with a runner on the first. This one's going to pop out to left field as Tommy gets underneath this one, and that is going to be an easy catch there. And, of course, Turner will have to go back to first base. So now Franklin Gutierrez, 2 for 18 There you see the last five games he has been really struggling here, and we're hoping to continue that here today as he has a full count here, two outs, and, yeah, he takes that one looking there. That's going to be a strikeout. Now, that one little call might be a little iffy. Might have been out of the zone a little bit there. But we'll go ahead and take it, and that will end up ending the inning. So, Cardinals lead it now 1-0 here after one inning of work. Go to the now to the second inning here, top of the second. We'll see Tommy up to bat here, and we'll see what he can do here today in this ball game. as he'll get a swing here. And he'll hit this one high and deep. This is going to go back. And this one could go out of the ballpark here, but no, it bounces off the wall out there. That comes down, and that is going to give Tommy here a nice little triple here. Nice job as he gets himself on in scoring position now and gets in to third base. So now all they need really is a single here, and they can have a 2-0 ball game here early already in this ball game. Take a look here. And see, Tommy just does a nice job of hustling around the base pass there for that triple. So Molina now coming out, Yanni and Molina coming up. He's going to swing at this pitch here, the first pitch he finds. And he goes ahead and knocks in Fam. And it's now a 2 nothing ball game here with a single now for Molina and RBI. Third inning now. Go to the bottom of the third here. We'll see Grom, uh, DeGraw come up now. He has nine RBIs for the season here. 
We'll see what he can do here against Waka. As Waka, so far at this point in the game, ball game, he's been pitching pretty well here. As we'll see a 2-2 count, and that one is going to be a strikeout there. Nice curveball there from Waka. And there you take a look at the league leaders so far here this season. Seven wins now already tied there with Mike Leake. Uh, only person uh, better than him right now, or actually only two people right now, is Martinez, his teammate, and Snodgrass of the Mets. So now 0-2 count here for the next batter. Here for the, actually, he's the pitcher for the Dodgers, and he will swing and miss on that one. Nice job of getting two away. Now 2-2 two, two count here, two outs, and now it's going to be Puig up to bat here. Can he strike out the side? Yes, he does. He does strike out the side there. Nice job. And that is going to be three up and three down. And the Redbirds leading out two to nothing. Now fourth inning, here we go. We'll see Waka and the uh, Dodgers uh, offense here try to see what they can do here against Waka and the Cardinal defense. And we'll see what uh, Turner will come up. And, again, Waka is like, nope, not going to deal with you today. We are not going to play this game as they go ahead and walk Turner once again. So that's the second time now Turner has been given the intentional walk. Will that come back in the bite us in the butt? Well, we're about to find out here. Seager comes up the pitch or come up the bat here. We'll see a one-two count on Seager. Seager swings and miss on that cutter right there. That's outside and a low away there from him as he cannot connect on that one there. And now we'll see Waka take on now Gutierrez. Is Gutierrez is going to swing here? No, he's not. He's not going to swing, but it is out. Or it is a strikeout there as he takes that one looking there. And that's now strikeout number nine now for Waka. So now Waka going to take on Adrian Gonzalez here. Gonzalez looking for a pitch here. 0-2 count with two outs. And one runner on board there. And Gonzalez strikes out there. Gonzalez, of course, does not like the call. Arguing with the ump about that, but a strikeout is a strikeout, and the Cardinals lead it out 2 0. Goes to the fifth inning now here, top of the fifth. We'll see there, Matt Carpenter there. He's been hitting very well here as a late, and there he goes again. Hits this one high and deep. This is a two run shot there to left field, and that is a home run there for Matt Carpenter, his 15th of the season, and the Redbirds now lead it now 4 to nothing. Nice job there from the Redbirds. Getting on the board once again. You see Mike Monthini loves what he's seeing from his ball club here today after having a really tough night last night, losing a tough game there. 15th of the year for Carpenter. Take a look at this beautiful swing. Look at him just put that ball right in its place there, and the Cardinals now lead this one here today. So now we'll go to the fifth inning here now. Bottom of the fifth, we'll see Walker up to bat. Are up to pitch here, and that's going to be a strike there on Peterson. That'll be number 11 now for Waka. As you see, Waka's ERA entering today's game here, 0.68 for the year. They're already Cardinals right, the other two two more Cardinals right behind him there, taking the top three in ERAs. Now you see another another nice swing there from a Dodger as Forsyth takes out, uh, gets taken out on that one. That's number 12 now for Waka. Now we'll see Grandal. Is he going to be lucky number 13 here? Yes, he is. He swings on that one. And that is a strikeout there. As now he has now struck out 13 Dodgers now in this ballgame here today. And he will uh, have a lead now. 4 nothing here. Cardinals lead it. Now go to the bottom of the six. We'll see Puig up to bat here. 0 for 2. He struck out twice already here today. As Puig is going to be up to bat here. Nobody out. Or one out so far. Nobody on board, I should say. And that ball will go ahead and trickle there to left field there. And Pham's going to track that one down. Uh, Puig now is going to go ahead and he's going to get a double there, which really should have been just a single. But Puig will get the extra base there on that one. Now we'll see here Turner once again. Two on and nobody. All right, two on and one out. We'll see Turner now go ahead and take a base here now. And or I should say one on. And now Turner's now be the second runner on runner on the base here against Waka. Well, he does not again. Waka does not want to do anything with him. So 0-2 count, one out. We'll see here. We'll try to get a double play. There you see nice throw there from Adams, who tries to turn for two. He does get the runner there at second. So now we have runners on first and third now. So good try there from Adams as he tries to turn for a double play. So now Franklin Gutierrez now up to bat. We'll see what Gutierrez can do here. As he is looking, and he swings on that cut fastball there, away, low and away there. That is going to be strikeout number 14 now for Waka, as that now still keeps the lead now at 4 to nothing. 
Goes to the eighth inning. Jonathan Broxton will come up to pitch here for the Redbirds. As you see, 12 games he's been in so far. He has one save. His ERA is at 3.78 for the season. As we'll see now, he's going to take Granola on now with a 1-1 count. And we'll see the pitch here. This one's going to pop out there. That's going to be high. That's going to be deep. That ball is going to be out of range for anybody as that's going to be a home run there for the Dodgers. The Dodgers are on the board here late once again. Oh, no. This sounds like, like the game we just seen a night ago. Dodgers coming back here. Hopefully, we can put the cap on this one before it gets too out of hand. As Grinnell hits his first of the season, it's going to be a solo shot. And it's still a 4-1 to lead now for the Redbirds. So the Redbirds still have control of this ball game here. Just, down, just up by three now on these Dodgers. And hopefully they won't have the same problems they had a night ago with the pitching. So Kevin Segrist, I believe, has been called up to pitch here in this inning. We'll see their advanced life will be a pitch hitter now. So I believe, yes, Kevin Seegers will now come out and pitch. And he, there you see his numbers. Like I said, just pitched a night ago. Could not get the team back to where they were at. Couldn't help out get the lead. So now he's going to come out here with a nice three-run raid lead against now Vince Slight and the Dodgers. Vince Slight, go ahead, hits this one off of the pitcher. Pitcher finds the ball, throws this one to first, and that is now two away there. Or excuse me, one away now. For the uh, Dodgers, there. Now, next uh, batter here, Puig. Here, Puig's going to take a look at this one, and yep, that's going to be a strikeout there. Puig arguing his case there, but no one is listening, and that is now two away now for the Dodgers. As now Turner comes up to bat again. This is the third time they've now pitched out f- away from him, and that's going to be another intentional walk. His third one of the ball game here today. They don't want to have nothing to do with him or his bat. And then now they're going to go after Seager. So Seager, over three, he ground out back in the sixth inning here. We'll see if we can do get him to do the same. This time he swings and misses on that change up there. And that is going to be an out. So now Ho will come out now here looking for his chance here to rebound from last night as he's looking for his 17th save of the season here. And we'll see what he can do here in the final frame of this ballgame. Hopefully Keep this ball game where it's at. So Franklin Gutierrez coming out the uh, bat now. We'll see here with a 1-2 count. Gutierrez looks at this one again and takes a strike out there. Man, what is up with this kid not swinging the bat there? you got to do so. If you want to get back in this ball game, you got to swing the bat. So we'll see now. Gonzalez here over 2. Struck out back in the 7th inning. We'll see what he can do here with his full count. We'll see a swing and a miss there. On that one, and Ho gets the strikeout. Now, Ho just one strikeout away here for winning this ballgame. Peterson up to bat here over three. Peterson get hits this one up the middle there short. Or it's just a second baseman makes a stop there. Nice throw there to first, and that is going to be your ball game. Cardinals win this one. Get a nice victory here tonight as they win this one by three. Four to one is your final score, and the Cardinals get the victory. So the Cardinals now tie up the series now one game apiece. Here in Dodger Stadium, as Waka goes eight innings of work, or excuse me, six innings of work, one uh, one hit, three walks, fourteen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Now he is now eight and zero for the season. Carpenter three for four, a home run, two RBIs and a run. Diaz a two for four, uh, two doubles and a run for him. As for Fam, one for four, a triple and a run there for him uh, for for his work here tonight. As for Grinnell, one for three, a home run, an RBI, and of course Turner, no uh, recorded at bat, and he got walked three times in that ball game. So now we go to the final ball ball game of the night here, the f- uh, final night here between these two ball clubs, and we'll see who's going to win this rubber match here. It's, of course, it's tied one apiece in this series, and of course the Cardinals will love to leave LA as winners as Ryu is going to be on the hill. There for the Dodgers, and there you see, look at his numbers. As for Martinez, will be on the hill for the Cardinals, as he has now had a pretty much a perfect season so far here. His ninth start here, he is eight and zero, looking for uh, or looking for win number nine here uh, against these Dodgers. So now go to the bottom of the second here, Franklin Gutierrez coming up to pitch here. And there you see again, his numbers are just really getting bad. 
and getting worse here. Two of 22 now for the last six games. Now we'll see here one two count here against Gutierrez. Nice slider there from Martinez, and that's going to be a strikeout there for the Dodgers. So the Dodgers batter here really just in a slump right now. Adrian Gonzalez now here up to bat. We'll see what he can do with an 0-2 count with one out, nobody on board. And that's going to be another slider there from Martinez, and that's going to be another strikeout. Nice uh, what? Nice pitch out, or nice uh, slider there for strikeout number two. Next batter here, Peterson. He strikes out there, and, yeah, he takes that one look in there, and he just shakes his head and wondering what the hell is going on. And that is going to be it for the inning. So after two, no score. Now, go to the fifth inning here. We'll see Molina come out to bat here. We'll see what he can do here with an 0-2 or 2-0 count here for him as he swings here in this one. This one's going to got enough lift there. This one's going to go over the wall, and that is going to be a home run. That is going to be a solo shot there for the catcher for the Redbirds as that's going to be his sixth of the season, and the Cardinals lead it now 1-0. Nice job there for Molina. Wasn't for sure if this was going to actually just stay in the ballpark here off the wall or if it was actually going to go over the fence, and it actually does. Nice swing there from him. Take a look at the replay and see here. This one just kind of just floats up there, but then look, the speed of it just carries it right over the wall and into that little, uh, little I don't know, little walk area there between the, uh, between the wall and the stands there. So... Nice job there for Molina as we go down to the seventh inning here. And, again, they are now walking Turner. This is actually the third time they've done this now in this ballgame here. So that's a total of now six times now already in two games that he's been walked. So Seager now will be up to bat here. 0 for 2. Seager putting all the pressure on him, trying to move the runner over as they have no outs. And it's a 0-2 count here for Seager. And Seager takes that slider there right up in him. And that is going to be out number one there for the Dodgers. So Martinez knows what the game plan is, and he knows what he needs to do. As you see, uh, Turner there not liking what is going on here today. So now full count for the next batter, which will be Gonzalez. Gonzalez, or I should say uh, Gutierrez there, not Gonzalez. It's Gutierrez. He'll strike out, and that's going to be now number two here in the inning. So two outs now. As they still have a runner on board, as you got Adrian Gonzalez here, he looks like he's going to try to do something here with a 2 2 count, two outs, a runner on first. And he does. He hits a nice single there out to center field. That's going to move the runner now from second to first. And now we have runners at first and second. Nice job there for the Dodgers. Now, Peterson will come out here. He'll fly this one out to left. Peterson hits this one deep, and Fam gets underneath this one, and that is going to be your inning. As the Dodgers cannot do anything, they leave two stranded there, and it's still a two nothing ball game. Take a look at your comparison start, your starters comparisons there, and of course Martinez having a better game here. He's been in seven, he has seven innings of work, only gave up one hit, and has uh, several uh, eleven what eleven strikeouts now. We'll see there. That's going to be a hit there. That is going to rattle around. Got to throw this one in there, and the runner. Here is going to come around, and that is going to be a score there as that is going to put now a three to, uh, no, excuse me, two to nothing here lead now for the uh, cards as uh, Carpenter this time doesn't hit a home run, but he hits a double and gets um, Diaz from first to home there. On this hit there, so it's a one or excuse me, a two nothing ball game. Cardinals lead this one now. It goes to the ninth inning here, two nothing still, and nobody on board and nobody out here for the Dodgers as Puig rips this one in there. And this will actually be the first hit of the day now recorded for the Dodgers as they went eight innings un, uh, unable to hit anything. Man, Martinez had a really good game here today. And we'll see here the ni next nice hit there. That's going to be a hit. That is going to be a double off to center field here for uh, uh, Turner. And for whatever reason, I don't know why they threw to him, but they gave up a double here. So now Mike Hernandez or Kite Hernandez here will come in to pitch run for Turner. As you'll see, Brett Cecil here. We'll see what he can do in this situation against the 
Uh, Red or against the Dodgers here, as you see, the Redbird pitcher reliever here. 12 games he's been in so far. We'll see what he can do here now. Ruth Runners at second and third with two, with nobody out. With two two count. That's gonna be a swing and a miss there. Seager just a little too much on that one. I think he just tried to belt that one and try to be the hero, but he will swing and miss uh, just profusely on that one. As that's gonna be now out number one. So one away now for the Dodgers. As now Gutierrez coming back up to pit, uh, back up to hit. And he has an 0-3 day here for him. As we'll take a look at this pitch here. This one's going to be a deep fly ball out to right field. Grishchik underneath it. Runner will go ahead and come in to score. And it will advance the runner there to also the third. And it's now a 2-1 ball game now. As that's a sack fly. And we'll see now. Ho will come out here to try to see if he can close the door here in the ball game. So, 22 games he's been in so far, 17 saves. He's looking for a number 18 now here in today's ball game, and we'll see if he can get to that. So full count now, two outs in here in the bottom of the ninth, and that's going to be a swing and a miss there on Gonzalez and Gonzalez, and the Dodgers lose this one. The Cardinals win this one, two to one, is your final score, and they are now winners of this series here as they win two of one here in this three game series nice job there from the redbirds and ready to come back home here uh actually no they got a continue a road trip here coming up we'll see who that is here in just a bit i believe it's the rockies coming up uh in that next series but yeah tough game here today they did a great job there uh with the exception of giving up that double there to turner but pretty much they've really controlled turner uh, and that seemed like to be the, the main thing that they needed to do to win the ball game. So, Martinez, ninth uh, victory for him. Eight innings of work, three hits, one run, one earned run, one, or excuse me, three strike or three walks. Of course, all of them on Turner. And 12 strikeouts in the ball game. Molina, one for four, or excuse me, one for three. Uh, home run, RBI, and a run. Diaz, two for four, a run. Carpenter, one for four, a double, and a run. As for Ryu, three for five for the season now. He's got his fifth loss. Seven innings of work, two hits, two or one run, one earned run, four strikeouts. Turner, one for one, a double. Uh, of course, three walks uh, in that game. Uh, Puig, one for four, a run in that game. And Forsyth also uh, 0 for three with a strikeout there for him. So coming up in the next episode, you guys, it will be a series. It will be a three-game series against the Rockies. And I believe we are going to be showcasing two of the three games there. I'm not for sure exactly. I think one of them will be – I think we will show game one. It will be Wainwright in that game. Uh, as you currently see there, Wainwright, 2.76 ERA. He is 4-4 four and four for the season. He is having a rough go here. And we'll try to see if he can bounce back in that game uh, coming up. And then I think we have – I think it's game three that we'll be showcasing here. So – We'll see. We'll uh, we'll find out here uh, here soon. The video will be up here pretty soon, and you guys will be able to enjoy it. So we'll see that coming up here on the Cardinals franchise here on ESGN Net. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please, please leave a like. Also, don't forget to hit that subscription button. If you guys hit the like button, that helps out other people trying to look for the series here on the channel. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, subscribe to be a part of the ESGN Nation. Hit that subscription button. Check us out there for other great series here on the channel. Also, follow us on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. The links are down below in the description. Check us out there for the latest news and events on what's going on here on the channel and what's going on in the world of sports gaming in general. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep yourselves healthy, and I will see you guys next time.